What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to today's episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed. The series where I cover all of the jumps, spots, lines of sight, as well as dynamic map elements on every map in Call of Duty Ghosts. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the third out of four Onslaught DLC maps, and that is Bayview. Let's get into it. Alright, so starting it off, as always, let's cover Domination Capture Spots. For the A flag on this map, most people will capture right here, and this is a pretty decent spot, but it's pretty much where everyone expects you to be capturing from. So I like to use a few different alternatives. The first one is right here. I like to just lay down right here or on the other side of this thing as well. And it just gives you a little bit of cover and people typically don't look there first, so it might give you a little bit of an advantage. And finally, you can actually capture from this side as well if you just lay right in here. And this is a place that they typically don't look if they're coming from that direction right there, so you'll almost always catch them off guard. Moving on to the B flag, it's actually pretty straightforward. The only piece of cover that you have to be able to capture the B flag behind is this little aquarium right here. And keep in mind that you can eventually break this glass. It does take quite a bit of damage to be able to break it, but a grenade or something will easily break this glass. And then you can kind of shoot around the coral here. Okay, finally for the C flag, I have one of the best, if not the best domination capture spot in the game for this flag. And I'm gonna save that spot for last. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Okay, so starting near the C flag right here, uh, I'm sure you guys know that you can jump on top of these boxes here, but some of you guys might not know that you can jump on top of this area right here, and you are really exposed up here, but you can actually drop down right on top of this thing right here, and you can use this for cover. And that's a fairly decent spot, it's just a place that a lot of people don't really look, so it uh, gives you a little bit of cover and you might be able to pick off a few kills. Also right in this area, I'm sure most of you guys know about this ladder right here to get up to this area. But some of you guys might not know that you can also jump on top of these cardboard boxes once again and then jump on top this way and then you're up. Now once you're up here I have kind of a cool spot if you jump on top of this little vent area right here and then drop down on top of this light or this little ledge that's along the edge here. You can use this for cover against anybody that's in the second story of this building and you also get a line of sight onto the roof right by the lighthouse. So that's a great way to pick people off that are on that roof while maintaining a lot of cover for yourself. So if you want to get on top of the little trolley that goes around the map, you can actually jump from this railing right here across to this thing and then onto the trolley. And it isn't really all that useful to be on top of here, but I just thought I'd point it out anyways. Now right back here, there's a ton of little jump spots and most of them aren't that useful, but there is one line of sight that you can jump to and it works out pretty well. So you can jump across this way like this. And then if you add your way all the way over, you can actually once again see right up into the roof of the uh, lighthouse area there. And snipers love to sit up there and they will not expect you to be here. So it's a great way to pick them off. Now way at the back right here, if you want to get a line of sight on people that may be coming through that area right there from the A flag, all you have to do is come back here, jump on the bench, jump on top of this garbage can, and then edge your way all the way over to the left so you can see around this flag. And there you go. You can use this big blue thing as cover and you can just crouch to uh, take cover and you can look over top. Now from the second story of the CDOM building, you can actually get a nice line of sight over to that roof without exposing yourself in that giant window. All you have to do is hop up on this railing and then shoot right through these little windows that are up at the top here. Another nice thing you can do with this railing right here is you can actually drop onto this little tiny ledge behind the railing and you can use this for cover to battle against people that may be coming up that area right there. If you want to get into that second story without taking the stairs, I'm sure most of you guys know this, but just in case you don't, you can hop up this way and you can get into this second story. And another thing you can do from on top of this uh, electrical box or whatever it is, is you can look through this grate right here and if you see any enemies you can jump out and take them out. Moving on to this corner between C and B, if you want to come around this corner right here, there's a much better way than exposing yourself like this. You can actually hop on top of this planter here and then jump right up on top of the hedge and then you can use this awning for cover and you can look right through that little crack right there and people will not be looking up in that direction. Now right back in this corner right here, I just thought it was interesting to mention that you can jump straight from the ground all the way up to this wall right here, and it's really easy to make that jump. Alright, so now I want to talk a little bit about these metal detectors that are kind of all over the buildings of this map. As you can see, if you run through them while they're green, then they will make a loud beeping noise which could alert your enemies, and you don't want that. Once they're red, and they're red for about 5 or so seconds after you run through them, then you can run through them and they won't make any noise as long as they're already red. Another thing you can do that a lot of people don't know is you can shoot them and then they will no longer work. So if you have a silenced weapon maybe and you're trying to sneak up on an enemy and you see one of these is green, then you can just shoot it and then sneak up on your enemy without him hearing the big beep. 
Between A and B, there's this cafe right here, and you can get on the roof of it, and it gives you quite a few vantage points. You can see over to the roof by the lighthouse, you can see over to that second story right over there, and you can see down to this middle area of the map. So it's a really common place. So obviously, you can take the stairs to get up here. Another option is to take this ladder on the back side to get up here. And finally, from the front side, you can jump up on either one of these, mantle onto this, and then just simply mantle up. You can also defend the A flag from this roof right here like this, but you are kind of exposed by doing that. So instead, I like to jump on top of the railing right over here and then lean around the corner towards the A flag, and then just slowly edge your way out. If you move too far, you will fall off the roof though. One last thing from the roof of this cafe is you can hop up on the railing on the front side right here and look at that area right there. There's a really popular spawn point right behind that, so it's a really high traffic area to run right through that gap, and you'll often be able to pick off kills through there. Just keep in mind you are extremely exposed up here to everywhere else on the map, and another line of sight you can actually get to is into that doorway there, which is also a popular choke point. Getting over to this side of the map, if you want to get a line of sight into that doorway that we were just looking through with the sniper rifle, you can jump on top of this bench right here and look at that. You can shoot through this glass and pick people off there and they'll have a really hard time seeing you. Similarly, you can look over towards this way as well. An alternative to that, if you wanted to, is you can come back here, jump on top of these benches, and you get pretty much the same lines of sight. Now to get on top of this building that's attached to the lighthouse, it's very obvious there's a ladder on each side, so there's a ladder right here that you can climb to get up here, and then once again there's a ladder right on this side as well to get up onto the roof. The thing I really wanted to point out from up here is the lines of sight that you can get. So you get a line of sight over towards that top floor of the cafe, you can get a line of sight over towards the B flag, and then it, you can lean around this corner and get lines of sight towards A. This is where a smart sniper will sit on this roof. I've seen a lot of people try to use this chimney for cover, and it's just not enough, and you'll get picked off here really easily. Okay, so if you want to get on top of the sign right there, you can jump on top of the trolley. Like I said, there are a couple of different ways to do this. This is one of my favorite ways because it's the easiest, and then you can simply jump across to here. It's really not all that useful to be up here. You might be able to get like a line of sight towards B or something like that, but you are extremely exposed up here and I wouldn't really recommend it. I just wanted to point out that you can in fact do it if you wanted to. One thing I wanted to also point out is you can't jump to any of these areas right here. You can't jump on that or on top of that or anywhere over here either. Uh, there's an invisible wall there, so you can't make that jump. This is the only place you can really jump to from on top of the trolley. Alright, so finally, as promised, I have an awesome capture spot for the sea flag. So most people will capture from like right behind this table right here, or maybe they'll jump right on top of the table and capture from up here. Or if they expect the enemies to be coming from the other direction, they'll capture from right up here and use this for cover like that. These are all pretty good, but the spot that I have is amazing compared to these. So all you have to do is come outside the building, and then just on this side of this garbage can, you can capture the sea flag through the wall. Very few people know about this right now, so you guys will definitely have the jump on them, and it works every single time. I've confused so many enemies by being here. This is something that may be patched in the future, so just keep an eye out for that, but for now, make sure you use that. Okay, so that's all I have for this episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed. In next week's episode, we're going to be covering the last of the Onslaught DLC maps, and that is Ignition. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.